Our other top story tonight, a worldwide strike against two San Francisco-based rideshare companies. Drivers in 10 U.S. cities and in England and Australia encouraged not to pick up passengers today. Drivers calling for better wages and benefits ahead of Uber going public and Lyft already on Wall Street since March. KPI X5's Melissa Kane joins us now with how the strike went. Melissa? Yeah, we're here at the Uber headquarters on Market Street in San Francisco. And, of course, regular rush hour traffic is going just fine right now. But that was not the case earlier when drivers and activists shut down this entire block of Market Street from Polk all the way to Van Ness for about an hour. Now, what they were calling on is for drivers to disable their apps from noon to midnight. And some did. But we talked to others who say it was just another day. Drivers United will never be defeated. At around 11.30 this morning, a handful of rideshare drivers and activists marched from San Francisco City Hall to Uber headquarters just three blocks away. But their numbers soon grew. It's not clear how many of the people here today were drivers or just their supporters. There was at least enough people to shut down Market Street. One bus that was caught in the shutdown honked in solidarity with the crowd and was able to get through while other cars were turned back. Workers are asking just for a more reasonable situation, you know. Well, Jeffrey Perry lives in Sacramento but drives for Uber in San Francisco. These drivers are demanding better benefits, more transparency, and higher wages. But Uber points to a study that shows nationwide their drivers earn an average of $18.65 an hour, but that's before expenses. <laughs> collaborative effort that's gone into this and the, the, the multiple cities across the U.S. and then internationally as well for a group that's that's by nature very isolated for this to come together this big that should tell people there's a real big problem here and it's systematic. Drivers United will never be defeated. But not all drivers are unhappy with Uber. I'm very thankful. Thank God to Uber. You know I'm a very successful self-employed individual. One driver we talked to said he hadn't even heard of the strike. I didn't even know about it. You hadn't heard about it? Yeah, nobody gave me the news. Oh, okay. But uh, I'm not complaining about nothing. See, there you go, my Uber. Oh, okay, uh, you, got, you got you got a ride. Exactly. So I got to go. Uh, Uber has issued a statement saying drivers are the heart of our service. We cannot succeed without them. And also, we'll continue working to improve the experience for and with drivers. Live in San Francisco, Melissa Kane, KPIX 5.